Hey guys, welcome back. We're playing more Tales of Berseria. In the last episode, we found out what exactly turns people into demons. The whole point of malevolence, la di da di da. Um, in this episode, we're gonna go to Logros, but first there's some talking heads. Alright, everything's all fixed up. Now to polish this ship from top to bottom. You really throw your back into your work, don't you? Why shouldn't I? The Von Eltias are pride and joy, our weapon. And most importantly, our home. I'm sure you've heard this before, but she's one odd-looking ship. The Von Eltia was built by the Kingdom 12 years ago, using the very best technology available. She was designed for search and seizure operations on the high seas. Apparently, her unusual design comes from an engineer who is familiar with technology from the far continent. But on her maiden voyage, a string of mysterious accidents took the lives of the captain, then the second, and then the third in command. People thought the ship was bad luck. She was about to be scrapped when Captain Eifried came and snatched her for himself. If the ship was bad luck, why did Eifried want it? Well, I'm sure part of it was that he wanted a sturdy ship capable of reaching the far continent. But when I asked him why, he said, she looks interesting. She's too interesting if you ask me. We've been chased by storms, struck by icebergs, attacked by a giant whale. You name it. Three years ago when the first mate arrived, it all made sense. To think we'd been haunted by a reaper the whole time. Oh, come on. Don't go blaming the captain and the first mate for every bad thing that happens. I bet you're all just frustrated because you're forced to go where they tell you. None of us are forced to be here. We're here because we choose to be here. And we do so fully knowing what sort of men the captain and the first mate are. Anyone can leave the crew whenever they like. We're free pirates, each of us. Here because we want to be. Some of us love adventure. Some are looking to test their fate. And some are just searching for a good place to die. We're a ragtag bunch of rogues, that's for sure. But not a one of us has died carrying regret or resentment. So we're glad to help out you and yours. But you'd best not forget what we stand for. I won't. They're quite the crew, aren't they? Were all those accidents truly caused by your power? Yeah. I've been searching far and wide for a way to lift the Reaper's curse. But when I couldn't find a single thread to follow on this continent, I turned my eyes to the other side of the ocean. And that's why you boarded this ship. And a fine ship she is. The Von Eltia was built from 1,000-year-old wood, you know. Before I found my coin, she was my vessel. But then the accidents came. And then Eifried stole the ship. Did he know you were on board? Definitely. He had pretty solid resonance going for him. Although at first, I think he assumed I was just a dour-eyed lubber worthy of little notice. I suppose being a reaper tends to take its toll like that. <laughs> no argument there. But still, whether they could see me or not, they didn't act any differently at all. I fought my damn curse with everything I had. And Eifried and his crew fought right along with me. Hell, we even finally made it to the Far Continent. And you didn't find anything there? To help with your curse? I didn't even look. But that's why you went there, isn't it? Eventually, I just got tired of fighting back. The crew, they taught me how to feel alive. And the joy of pursuing my dreams alongside good friends. Alrighty. That one took quite a while. Okay, we're gonna ignore the other one because we gotta get on the road. Let's make it to Logros. Because I don't think we can really, like, stop anywhere. Or, like, skip travel. Which sucks, but it is what it is. I don't really use the inns that much. Let's get out of here. The Bloodwing Butterflies operate in the Empire's shadows. Not even the Abbey knows their full scope beyond whispers and rumor. And you all have a connection to them, don't you? Dark and interconnected is the Underworld. We've heard voices in the shadows, glimpsed faces behind paper-thin masks. The attack on High Priest Gideon. Was that at their behest? Yeah, the Bloodwings asked us to take him out. We did it in exchange for information that could lead us to Artorius. Information? You would assassinate a man for mere information? Yes. Information on the shepherd who rules the world. 
Not a bad deal, if you ask me. We just work with them when our interests align. Nothing more. That's the kind of thin justification I'd expect to hear from them, too. But the Bloodwings were acting upon knowledge that the High Priest was harming the people of the city. You're right. The incident with the Nectar was the Church's failing. And it seems that the Bloodwing Butterfly Network goes further and deeper than we had thought. They knew about the barrier at the throne, too. And Velvet's expertise at Dove Mimicry. <sighs> Would you stop bringing that up? Dove Mimicry? What does that mean? I have no idea. There was a dove near the dock checkpoint. That's all. Huh? Right! It was a black, full-chested dove, wasn't it? Cuckoo! A black, full-chested dove? Is that some sort of underworld code word? Ah, uh, it's so weird to, like, recognize stuff, because I'm like, I I mean, I've been playing for a while, and it's we like, are. we haven't been back. In back. It was a lot tougher to get in the first time. More funny than tough, if you ask me. Oh, you mean Velvet's little dove act? Coo, coo. I'd be careful teasing her if I were you. You know how she can get. Oh, don't act like you didn't enjoy it, too. I'm sure you did, right? Good little boys don't lie to adults, you know. I might have just a little... Say it like a dove. It was funny. Coo, coo. <gasps> ah. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna avoid fights just because everything's gonna be weak here and it's just going to take our time. More than do much of anything else. This Locris was early on. Okay, we're gonna go- th I'm actually curious about something, because there was like a question mark next to another trail, so we're gonna attempt that one. Is Zinominot's book so difficult? Grimoire seemed perplexed by it. Yeah, she said it was written in ancient Avarost, a language that uses Impressionist script. I've never heard of Impressionist script. Each character can have many different meanings and readings, depending on the emotion it's expressing and the way it relates to the characters around it. Some modest records on its grammar and structure survive, but none that say how to read the emotion the characters express. Grimoire said that you have to recreate the writer's feelings as a sort of starting point in order to read it. I see. And you have a talent for that sort of thing? I guess I do. But a script based on emotions? That's as far removed from modern language as can be. Yeah. That's why it's I didn't last, probably. Unrelated, apparently. How can it be completely unrelated? After the temperance of Avarost, the entirety of human civilization vanished. The language went with it. Much as a blooming flower loses its petals, the Avarost civilization grew too far and came to its final end. The surviving buildings and ancient tools, the likes of which our technology cannot replicate, were the beginning of that end. In any case, it sounds like deciphering that writing will take quite a while. While they do that, we're gonna go check out this. Because, see right there? There's a secret passage this way. I kinda wanna go check it out. Y'all leave me alone. You're annoying. And probably, like, pretty underleveled. I'm just, I'm curious, because I think it was, like, blocked off. So let's see if it's still blocked off. I'm, I'm just curious. Aw, oh, it's still blocked. That's okay. Okay, let's carry on with the story. At least we didn't have to travel, like, that far in. Let's see. Okay, let's see how stronger we are. You'll be rushed on my <laughs> and they're not that. I guess they do kind of level them up with us. He hits his a lot. 
I'm just now realizing. There we go. Your style is really unique. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Okay, hold on. Let's do the floor ice blade. Let's do the ampifol. Mastered those. I thought he mastered them. Okay, everything else is good. Let's head to Logros. Leave me the fuck alone, you bird. Not in the mood for grade bonus today. If anything, I might just do, like, grinding or something like that later, but we'll see. Man, the capital sure is big. Yeah, with historical buildings and artisans and all, there's much of interest here for a boy who loves to learn. Uh-huh. Sightseeing's nice and all, but don't wander off and get lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry about him. He can take care of himself. I know. I was just saying. Oh. Let's take our ship. Take a look at this. Hey. This recipe looks real tasty. Scout. Okay. Now that that's done. Forgot about the red sage. Let's <laughs> use Laffy set. Because the attack will be helpful. I guess we should clear these out. You look like travelers. I have some good news for you. The restrictions on travel to the Aldina Plains are going to be lifted soon. The road's opening back up! So, that's the latest word on the streets? Ha! <laughs> I see what you did there. I try to liven things up around here. <laughs> well, ever since Lord Artorius became the shepherd, demon attacks have gone down. The world's filled with hardships. But perhaps things are starting to go in the right direction. Perhaps. The demons who nearly destroyed Helavis are still skipping about on the loose, though. What? And just the other day, a village near Isalt was destroyed by the demon blight. Guess the capital doesn't mind, though. What? Don't worry about it. Your shepherd and the abbey are going to save the world, right? Um, listening to you has kind of gotten me all nervous again. If you hear any other scary stories, let me know, please. Hmm. I've got one with fresh blood, melted bodies. Oh! tale about the demon doll that comes alive if you're going to waste time we're leaving you here well that's enough of this detour then sorry to be such a drag wait that doll one i wish i would really change cool. the person that was talking so that's the thing is i don't know every time who talks found just up this way i think yeah The nights are so cold of late. It's gotten harder to get flamestone, too. I hear the port at Helavis is at a near standstill. No matter how much flamestone they mine from Mount Kilaraus, they can't get it shipped out. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of the situation. It's not just us who are suffering. We have to endure. Times like these is when we need to practice Lord Artorius's teachings. The many outweigh the individual. Unless it's him. Exactly. I'm sure Lord Artorius will think of us soon and send aid. He doesn't give a damn about any of you. How 
dare you! The many outweigh the individual, right? Artorius wants to save humanity as a whole. Your individual troubles aren't important to him. You have no idea what you're talking about. Aren't we part of the whole he wants to save? What happy fools. Sorry about that. She didn't get to see his speech, so she's been taking it out on everyone around her. Really? What a troublesome kid. But really, that speech was incredible. You look like you. Okay, let's see if there's anything we could dismantle. Let's see. Those are really weak. And we've mastered them. Bye bye. We're keeping the Kudogane blades because I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't get rid of those. <laughs> Guardian doll is actually stronger than Gradient doll. We... Do we have a weapon for her? Oh, that's why I still have calcite boots. I was like, why do I still have these? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, I'm a stupid completionist. Oh, come on. Why do they leave stuff on the screen? We can't use it. We're just damn in it. Okay. I don't think any of those are nearby. I don't remember. I need you to wait outside. The boss of the Blood Wings knows an exorcist is with us, but... Say no more. I'm sure they have clients who wouldn't appreciate their faces being known to the Abbey. Correct. Luffy said, you stay with Eleanor. Okay. I'll be back soon. My thanks for coming all this way. It's been a while. Would you care for a peach pie? What do you want? Oh. It would do you good to unwind every now and again, you know. Stretch a bow too far and its string is bound to snap. What do you want? <sighs> I would like you to escort this person out of the capital. Something smells about this. Literally. Where am I taking them? Somewhere the authorities can't reach them. Sounds nice. I could do with such a place myself. No joke. We've been looking for a place to lay low, but we haven't had any luck yet. Well, come to think of it, I've heard a rumor that it's been a while since the Abbey has had any contact from Titania. Prison Island. Titania? But I thought the Abbey was in direct control of that place. Has the situation there gotten that bad since you left? Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. I think there's a prison work. break. Why do y'all think it's under control now? Yeah, could make a decent hideout actually. The Therians could definitely get their fill of malevolence there. And the Abbey is far too goody goody to imagine an escaped prisoner would ever return to her prison by her own free will. At the very least, I'd say it's worth checking out. I take it our intel has proven useful? It has. But before we go, have you heard anything about the Abbey harboring demons? I'm aware there was a demon in the villa, and that it has been relocated. Where? I can't say right this moment, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. Alright, then in exchange for this passenger's safety, I want more information on that demon. You've got a deal. Uh, that eagle has hair like I heard Bogotá. about your confrontation with Melchior. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you find him. Yeah, you really blew that one, toots. It's fine. What's done is done. Have you given up on finding Eifried? No, I haven't. The crew and I will do whatever we can to quash the Abbey's plans. We do them enough damage, and the Abbey ought to start thinking about putting their hostage to good use. They'll set them up as a trap for us, 
and that's when we'll steal him back. Attacking the Abbey to create an opening for his escape. Clever. It's what Ifrid would do. That's all. They're taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you some of the sights. But, um... You... You can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not that. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well, we'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just, you know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? Ah, you're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania, where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. Uh, uh huh? <laughs> Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. Alrighty. Who was that caped man? He made it out of Logos. I do not know, but his hawk seemed extraordinarily well trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. It takes a great deal of time and money to train a bird like that. <laughs> what is it? I smell something nice. <laughs> Indeed. The scent is somehow familiar. <laughs> It can't be. Hmm? What are you two sniffing at? Aha! They're bloodhounds on the hunt! But we're talking about hawks hunting, aren't we? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse my poor manners. Oh, shit. You know what? Let's do it. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite. We are saving so much time doing that. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Let's go to Titania! And yes, I do say that like how they say Erza Scarlet's um, name and fairy tale. I I don't know. Sometimes I'll hear stuff said in Japanese and I think it sounds cooler that I just keep saying it like that. So, yes, I say Titania. This is bull crap. You're gouging us just cuz you can. Well, if you want to pay less, maybe you should go find someone more generous. Hmm? Looks like they're at it again. Huh? What's happening? Benwick, snap out of it! Benwick! Huh? I was haggling for supplies and. Tell you what, I'll give you a fair price. Actually, just take what you need. <sighs> We should all endeavor to help contribute to the common good of humanity, rather than selfishly pursue wanton profit. What? Uh, are you sure? Uh, uh, yeah. No. Wait. What was I saying? You felt that too, didn't you, kiddo? Yeah, 
It disappeared, but I felt a strong force coming from somewhere to the north. It's called a domain. A Moloch's zone of influence. Wait, if it's north of here, then... The Empyrean's throne? Did that happen because of something Inominat and Artorius did? <sighs> I don't know. I've got a bad feeling about this. We should get far away from here, and quickly. So... The suppression... I kind of Why do I want them to be like someone from a different Tales game? I'm not gonna recognize who they are. I've played one, or one and a half. Okay. How do we get to Titania? Well, that was certainly off-putting. But our job with Tabitha comes first. And we need a hideout soon, too. True enough. Okay, how do we get to Titania? Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yep. All right, we're safely on the rolling waves. Don't you think it's time you showed us your face, mystery monk? <laughs> You're right. My apologies. I knew it! Prince Percival! Percival Il Mid Asgard. Crowned prince and heir to the throne of the Midgan Kingdom. So he's next in line, is he? It looks like someone already had me figured out. Yes, your highness. I could tell from your fragrant wood scent, as only the royal family may wear it. But if I may ask, why? Must I explain myself to gain your aid? I myself could ask what an exorcist is doing consorting with members of the underworld. I... I don't... It doesn't matter why you're here. On this ship, you're here for us to use to our advantage. Treat me as you will. It's not like I can ever go back. For a fellow born with silver spoons spewing out of his mouth, Princey Pooh's rather laid back. Prince Percival is an upstanding man, renowned for both his intelligence and his fair, just demeanor. It's widely believed that with him on the throne, Midgan's prosperity will continue and... Look, I played dumb earlier, but I smelled that scent too. He wore it for us to notice. He wanted us to know just what sort of position he held, and how useful he could be to us. He surprised me, at least. Do you think we're being led into another trap? We definitely can't take that possibility off the table. When the time comes, he'll make a good hostage, if nothing else. Not if the ones we face are after his life, too. For now, let's just make sure we keep an eye on him. The prince. He said he couldn't go back. I wonder why. We're gonna skip. Because why not? <laughs> the whole island's a prison. It's like a secret We have the weirdest group of people ever. Weirdly quiet, though. Yeah, I don't see a single exorcist on watch. Let's scope out the inside. Okay. Now that we're back to where we all started. Let's head on in. An exorcist. Are you all right? Yeah, we have one too. She's dead. Not the shit. This night is back. Whoa! Okay, we got to fight and then we'll probably call this it there. The demon that attacked her. Ooh, another prison riot? Kurogane, dial. 
You two protect Kamoana and the prince. Understood. God, we have such a weird group. Yep, go. I'm proud. You made me unleash my full power. So did the Abbey actually fail to quell the riot? I find that hard to believe. The prison was heavily staffed with exorcists. Perhaps it was venomization. Venomization? A dark ritual. Forcing demons to eat each other in order to produce ever stronger demons. So the demons devoured each other, creating a demon too powerful for the exorcists to control? I imagine the riot didn't help. Now whose fault could that have been, I wonder? Whatever happened doesn't matter to us now. We need to focus on how to take this place for ourselves. That exorcist from before said something about a headless knight, right? That one's probably the leader. Then we hunt it down and destroy it. Until we capture the island, let's use this room for our staging ground. I'll leave the prince and Kamoana to you two. Eliminate any enemies who come in. Understood. Don't expect much from me, but all right. Kamoana, if anything happens, call for me and I'll come running to protect you, okay? Okay. You stay safe too, Eleanor. Let's go. And that's where we're going to end the episode. So we're actually going to run back outside. And save. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!